Hello friends, welcome to yours gardening channel Print with Green with another episode of gardening updates. Today we will talk about general information on one of the best house plants group called bromeliads. If you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed it, please do subscribe my channel for more gardening information. The first type of bromelias that I have in position are the neoregilias. Neoregilias are best known for their colorful leaves and form a rosette with small white, blue or purple flowers deep in the center of the cup. Neoregilias like bright light under which it produces attractive leaf color but very bright hot and direct sunlight may scorch the leaves of this plant the central cup of this bromelet variety loves to be filled with water all the year round generally bromelet varieties are carefree and less pest bother these plants but what i have witnessed in my cultivation till now are the two pests that frequently visits this plant when it is extremely dry it may get scale infestations scale infestations however can be controlled by wiping the leaves with clothes soaked with alcohol or some volatile oils as well. Spraying insecticide mixed with oil also gives the good result. Another pest are the snails. As these plants loves being moist at the cup, it often invites the snails which sometimes eats up the tender young leaves of the plant and the plant may eventually die. Another bromeliads that I have in my collection are the Vriesa. Vriesa are also known as flaming sword plant as they produce very spectacular and long lasting flower spikes. The flower spikes in this plant may last for 2-4 to four months. When they complete the bloom, the main plants eventually dies but gives out many pups before dying out. Vriesa are more tolerant to dense shade than other bromeliads, so these varieties of plants can be kept indoors as well. Some varieties of Vriesa also possess beautiful leaves like those of Neoregilia. This is the another bromeliad variety which is called pink quill or tillandsia cyania. Tillandsias are better known as air plants as they can grow taking moisture and nutrients from the air. But pink quill can be grown in a pot with well draining media. Some tillandsia varieties grows well in a terrarium also. Guzmanias are also one types of bromeliads which can be identified by rich color bracts that comes from the center of the plant. The color can be red, yellow, orange or deep purple depending on the varieties. They produce a torch like flower spikes. Lastly, Dikias also comes under the bromeliads. Many a times they are confused with succulents but unlike true succulents they cannot store their own water in their internal tissues. These varieties of bromeliads can withstand long period of drought and also very cold temperature. Unlike other bromeliads they won't die after their flowering period is over. They have the extensive root system 
and can be grown easily in cactus and succulents mix so this was all about the different bromelad varieties that was in my collection hope you like the videos and we'll meet again on sunday with another video on gardening till then stay safe stay healthy